organic methods as productive as industrial agriculture says study. A new study released this week by Berkeley University has good news for health-conscious Americans. Bartley researchers investigated the supposed gap between organic food systems and industrial, chemical-dependent food systems. The study showed that the previously held assumptions of this gap were much greater than is the case. In some instances, the two types of food production produce the same per acre yields. The new study analyzed three times as much data as previous studies and found much of the research was biased in favor of the chemical-dependent systems. Considering who funded the previous research supports this assumption. When reanalyzed on great scale and depth of modeling, it becomes clear. Organic farms' productivity is much nearer to industrial agriculture than previously believed. According to an article in Barclays News Center, in terms of comparing productivity among the two techniques, this paper sets the record straight on the comparison between organic and conventional agriculture, said the study's senior author, Claire Kremen, professor of environmental science, policy and management and co-director of the Barclay Food Institute. It's critical to look more closely at organic farming, and the ability of synthetic fertilizers to increase crop yields has been declining. The study, conducted by Lawrence E. Penizo, Livan K. Gunagel, Kevi C. Mace, Jenny Palomino, Perry D. Valpine and Clara Kremen, found previous work was often biased in favor of chemical-based agriculture, which has led to lowered expectations for organic produce. This organic industrial production gap has been used as justification for increased industrialization of farming practices. Organic farming proponents have long argued that adoption of simple organic principles such as crop rotation and diversified plantings produce as much produce for acre as industrial methods. This study supports organics, noting organic yields are only 19.2% lower than conventional yields, a smaller gap than previous estimates. No significant differences between leguminous versus non-leguminous crops, perennials and annuals, or developed versus developing countries. The report states that, to agricultural diversification practices, multi-cropping and crop rotation substantially reduced the yield gap when the methods were applied in only organic systems. The economic and environmental costs associated with nitrate-based industrial agriculture and the monocropping are going up while industrial farming's productivity is declining. This further reduces the apparent gap between the natural and industrial system. Our current food system causes many environmental problems, trading long-term damage for short-term egg production. Effects include loss of habitat and biodiversity, soil erosion and degradation, pesticide effects, greenhouse gases and more. We must grow food in a manner that protects, uses and regenerates ecosystem services, rather than replacing them. This sounds very much like the principles of per and sustainable farming.